Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today we will once again be revisiting the browser showdown. This time, we have several updated browsers to cover. We will take a look at Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, and Safari to see which is the king of the hill. So let's take an in-depth look at all five browsers to see which one is definitively the fastest. This is the latest technology covering everything tech. Before we begin, let me explain a bit about the tests. As always, I use a variety of tests to get a good base of numbers to decide which browser is the fastest. Each browser was fully updated to the latest beta or alpha release at the time of making this video, with the exception of Chrome, which is on a nearly identical beta release. In the case of Firefox, and especially Internet Explorer, the browsers are quite incomplete, and I expect much to change between now and the release. All the tests were run on the same Windows 7 computer with as close to identical conditions as possible. To start out with, I ran Celtic Kane's JavaScript test. The test was run 10 times in each browser with the highest and lowest scores taken off and the rest averaged out. As you can see, Chrome did a great job, scoring over 300 points and besting Opera and Safari by nearly 100 points. Internet Explorer 9 scored decently, with Firefox taking up the rear. Next came the Peacekeeper benchmark. Peacekeeper is a great overall browser test that covers a wide variety of tests. And again, Chrome came out on top by a considerable margin, notching the impressive score of over 3,300. Opera came next with a still decent score of 2,736, with Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer following behind. The ACID 3 test covers how well a browser adheres to web standards, but it's close to being outdated. Chrome, Opera, and Safari all ace the test with a perfect 100 score, with Firefox almost there with a score of 96, and Internet Explorer with 68. The next test that was run is the Google V8 benchmark, which is a pure JavaScript test. Not surprisingly, Chrome smoked the competition, with Opera finishing a fairly distant second. Safari followed up, with Firefox and Internet Explorer behind it. Continuing on, we have the SunSpider test. This is one of the best indicators of browser speed around. The test was run as a total of nine times per browser, and the results were just a bit different from previous tests. Chrome and Opera won yet again, but Internet Explorer put up a good show by beating Safari and Firefox by a decent margin. Lastly, we have a new test, the spinning images. This is a test from the Internet Explorer test drive suite and consists of all five browser logos spinning rapidly on the page. The frames per second of each browser was recorded, and as you might expect from a test designed for Internet Explorer, it won by a nice margin, putting down a butter smooth 55 frames per second. This is due to the fact that IE9 can call on the GPU to run complex tasks, and this test shows how much that helps. Opera, while behind on paper, didn't do too badly either, pulling in a stable 33 frames per second and looking almost the same as Internet Explorer. Firefox ran it very choppy, but Safari and Chrome fell totally flat, managing a meager 3 and 2 frames per second respectively. As websites aren't yet coded for hardware acceleration, however, this test is moot for the immediate future. Unlike the three previous browser tests, while the winners are clear, none of the browsers are embarrassingly slow like in the past. All five are quite fast in day-to-day -day web browsing, although as an alpha, Firefox could be a bit glitchy. Internet Explorer, well, it doesn't even have a back button yet, or a UI at all, really. So it's safe to say that these two browsers will be cleaned up, and soon all five will be solid. But there is a big difference between being fast and being the fastest. In fifth place by a hair is Firefox. Not counting the spinning images test, it would have come in fourth just barely, but counting in the fact that IE9 will allow sites to tap into the GPU of your computer, that will be a big thing in the future, so the edge goes to it. The difference between the alpha build and normal Firefox 3.6 isn't that large as of yet though, but as version 4 nears, I'm sure it will be speed up considerably. Until then, however, it finishes last in speed. Fourth place goes to Internet Explorer 9. 
To see a version of Internet Explorer not in dead last in a speed test is something I haven't seen in a long time, which is doubly impressive as the platform preview is picking up speed with each release. It could very well be on par with Chrome and Opera by the time Internet Explorer 9 is released. The fact that it can also handle hardware acceleration is also impressive, and could stand to help it in the future. Fourth place it is. Solidly in third place is Safari 4. Safari really hasn't changed much since June of 2009 when it was released, but even so it still is no slouch in speed. Not long ago it was neck and neck with Chrome to be the fastest, but now it's a distant third place to both Opera and Chrome. It still is a competent HTML5 capable browser, but it's going to be until version 5 before we see it challenged to be the fastest. Second place goes to Opera 10.53. The winner of the last overall browser test, Opera is out of alpha and is still nearly a faultless browser in both speed, UI, and features. However, this is a strict speed test and there's no doubt that it finished behind Chrome in every single normal speed test I threw at it. It's almost a shame as Opera really is a fantastic browser and I like it a lot, but in the end it just couldn't keep up. So the winner is Chrome which gets its fastest browser crown back after losing to Opera in the previous test. The latest beta update has brought with it a big boost in speed, making it the clear winner in the speed department. The UI and add-ons certainly don't hurt either. So, if you're looking for the fastest browser around, look no farther than Google Chrome.